Hello and welcome to eMulti Skills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will see how to backup and restore in PostgreSQL. So for backup in PostgreSQL, we have pg underscore dump, which used to take the backup of individual databases or tables. If you wanted to take backup of all the databases, you should use pg underscore dump all. For restoration, you have two utilities provided. One is pg underscore restore, which is used to restore the uh, backup, which has not been in uh, in uh, text format. For restoration of uh, the uh, the dumps which are in text format, you use psql. So let's see what are the different uh, backup formats. Uh, you have uh, the backup format in plain text, so you can uh, restore it using psql. You can take the uh, pg underscore uh, dump backup either in uh, custom archive or you can use the tar archive which is linux format or you can put it in the directory format so that you have individual tables separated these are the different connection options uh, when you say simply pg underscore dump hyphen hyphen elf, uh, help it will show you all the options hyphen f uh, stands for the file name you can mention the file name or the directory location uh, hyphen f stands for the format so you can mention the custom format uh, uh, directory format you have tar format you have plain text you can mention the number of the jobs in case you wanted to paralyze your uh, uh, backup uh, and uh, your tar backup you can compress it using the uh, hyphen z option or hyphen hyphen compress zero to nine zero being uh, none and uh, nine being the highest compression level you can mention the lock weight uh, timeout uh, as well then you have some more uh, backup options. You can take the backup of data only. You can include blobs in your backup. You can uh, exclude the back, uh, uh, blobs backup. And when you are creating the dump, uh, you can mention hyphen C, small c. What it does, it, it cleans database objects or recreating. So it puts the drop command. So hyphen C, capital key, puts uh, the create command in the dump option and uh, hyphen n schema you can mention the schema names which has to be backed up and if you mention capital hyphen n uh, you mention the uh, schema names which has not to be uh, backed up then hyphen o or uh, no ownership so you can skip the restoration of the objects if in the plain text format hyphen s you can mention the uh, schema only it takes the backup of the schema no data so hyphen a was just for the data and it is for the schema only hyphen s you can mention the super user uh, username which has to be used in plain text format so you can uh, take dump the uh, table name using the hyphen hyphen t uh, table uh, and you can mention the table names or the pattern uh, whatever you like and uh, hyphen hyphen exclude also if you wanted to uh, exclude the backup of some of the table or some of the table in particular pattern let's say they are starting with tab and something you can uh, exclude the privileges also when you uh, backups you just say hyphen x it doesn't uh, uh, backup the grants and the revokes there are different options you mentioned hyphen d or uh, uh, hyphen uh, db name you mentioned the database name hyphen h you mentioned the uh, host name you mentioned the ip address hyphen p is for the port name if you have a non-default port hyphen u stands for the username which user is uh, is uh, specified to, to take the backup hyphen w when you mention then your piece uh, this backup command doesn't prompt for the password hyphen w when you uh, mention it uh, forcefully prompts for the password then hyphen hyphen role name you mentioned the uh, role name uh, before the backup dump then you have the restoration command uh, what is pg underscore restore it is used to restore the uh, postgresql uh, database backup from the archive which is created by the dump uh, pg underscore dump so pg underscore restore these are the uh, different uh, options hyphen d you mentioned the database name hyphen f you mentioned the file name uh, hyphen f in capital you mention whether it is uh, uh, other than the text format all will be uh, picked up from here 
so you have a custom format you have d for directory format t for tar format uh, hyphen l it mentioned the uh, list hyphen v uh, displays what is happening in the background when you take the uh, backup or the restore it is valid for both uh, if you wanted to restore just the data you just say hyphen a uh, it restores the data and no schema and hyphen clean it it uh, it, it creates the database objects and uh, if you mention hyphen uh, index, uh, hyphen hyphen index, it restores the named index which, which are mentioned. If you wanted to mention the uh, number of uh, parallel jobs, you, you, you can mention it. And hyphen L is either used to mention the file name, uh, which is containing a number of tables. You can restore the uh, database uh, schema using hyphen n command. If you want mention hyphen capital N, it re, uh, skips the schema which has to be uh, restored. Then you can restore the functions. You can, with small s, uh, you can mention the schema only. With the hyphen capital S, you mention the super user uh, name which has to be used. Hyphen T, you use it for the table name. Capital T, you mention for the trigger name and let's see the demo so i mentioned everything uh, here on uh, uh, on a notepad and we are going to use it so if you simply say pg underscore dump hyphen hyphen a help it will show you what are the different options available in uh, uh, pg dump or you simply say pg uh, dump all hyphen hyphen help it will show you all the options which are available so let's quickly it's it's very easy uh, so we are going with the first option wherein uh, we are going to create a postgres equal dump file and we are saying pg underscore dump hyphen v verbose and the database which we are going to take backup is dvd rental and this will be uh, dumped in this particular location and we have mentioned hyphen v vervo so this will display what is happening in the background so you can see that backup is getting created and it is if if i go to cd slash postgre slash backup uh, you can see uh, that backup file is created in in that this format so let me remove everything Okay, let me remove uh, DVD stars, everything. Let me execute the backup once again. Uh, PG dump hyphen V DVD rental. So this is going to take the backup of DVD rental database. And if you wanted to see the content, uh, you can see either use, use uh, some editor or you just say uh, view command. So you can see that it is a back a post create database dump uh, database version is this one and this will create the database in the format let's try out the second uh, uh, command where it, it, everything remains safe so instead of giving this uh, arrow mark we just give the uh, hyphen f and we mention the complete location of the file which has to be created you can see that it is getting created it's very very easy and uh, if I say PG, if you wanted to take the backup in the tar format, so I'll say PG dump hyphen V verbose. So this will print on a screen. And if I say hyphen U, who's the user who is going to take the backup? It is postgre hyphen W in caps. It will prompt for the password hyphen F. Uh, this is uh, a format and it is in text format, plain format. And no, sorry, hyphen F, uh, then I am saying T, this is going to take the backup in the tar format and for which database it is for the uh, DVD rental database and this will be the tar file which will be created and let's mention the password so this is going to create the uh, backup in tar format so this is the tar file which is created if I have to restore uh, the backup which we have taken for the DVD rental and uh, first you have to create a, a database uh, which is blank so create dv hyphen t 
from which template template 0 and 1 are available and the database which we are going to create blank database it is restored underscore DVD rental it already exists so uh, let me create DVD rental 1 DVD rental underscore new Uh, let's say DVD rental underscore new. So I'll say the database name is DVD rental underscore new. DVD rental underscore new. It also exists. DVD rental now. So it is getting created. It is created. So DVD rental. Uh, uh, we created DVD rental underscore now and we are going to restore the backup in this particular database so we'll simply say psql uh, new database name inverts arrow and the location of uh, uh, the dump file and just mention the verbose if you wanted to see what's happening in the background so this is happening so it's it's very very easy if you wanted to take the backup of all the databases we are going to use pg dump all pg dump all and uh, let's say verbose i think it is going to work so you can see the in the verbose format in the screen everything is getting displayed and it is going to take the backup of all the database and if you wanted to take a backup of a specific table then also you can mention so uh, the, the uh, format for that is pg underscore dump uh, let me i wanted to take a backup of payment table which is there in in uh, um, in um, in DVD rental database, so uh, PG dump hyphen F, uh, which is the format. Uh, it is in custom format. Only we are taking the backup of data. Hyphen U is username. Uh, hyphen W stands for. Uh, it is going to um, prompt for the password. Then we have database name. Then hyphen T uh, table name is uh, payments. And just mention the password DVD rental, I think, and not rentals. Yes, or uh, let's remove it and uh, uh, we will back it up using uh, the Vervos command pg dump hyphen v verbose and enter the password then you can see that uh, our payment table has been backed up if you have to restore the database of the particular table what you have to do is you have to truncate the date uh, table then uh, restore uh, the data only it's 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 very easy Let's see some more uh, example. Uh, to dump a database uh, into a PL SQL script, we have seen that. And uh, using the format also, we have seen that uh, in if you wanted to do it in a custom format, we can use this for the particular database. Uh, let's try this one. Although most of them has already been uh, executed. So this is PG dump hyphen V verbose hyphen F uh, uh, format C is uh, hyphen F is file uh, and C is the custom format than the database name and just execute it to dump a database into a directory we use hyphen D command so let's do that and let's try this let's go to I think it is executed and you can see it has uh, executed now 
uh, it's in the directory and subdirectory structure to dump a database into a directory format in parallel with five worker jobbers uh, uh, for worker jobs so let's try this one pg dump hyphen b uh, hyphen f uh, is the format then we have the uh, uh, directory format then this database name and these are the number of workers if it is more than you you can mention it and you can uh, compress it as well so hyphen f uh, it, it's executing you just need to know what you are doing then to create an archive into a freshly created database uh, let's create a new database uh, restore database uh, dvd rental underscore new let's try this one or let's say it as new one i hope this doesn't exist yes and then restore it from the uh, the back of which we have just uh, uh, taken so it is pg underscore restore hyphen d database name and uh, the dump name uh, this is done i'm not going to check it because uh, if it is not doing it it will show you the error to reload an archive file into the same database it was dumped from uh, then it is going to discard it is going to clean and create it a pg restore underscore uh, uh, hyphen d uh, then uh, let's let's try this one we'll put the verbose We can see that it is it is creating again and if you have to dump a single table which we have uh, seen earlier as well uh, in the text format we can use uh, pg dump and this is done if you wanted to see the content you can quickly see it This is the text and readable format. So this is all about uh, the different uh, options available in uh, Postgre backup and dump. And I hope this is going to help. And uh, thanks for watching.